Hey everyone, welcome back. I am so excited for this video today um, for two reasons. One, I have a wonderful um, brand to tell you about. They are so kind and allowed me to um, try out a couple of their pieces, so I'm excited to tell you about that. And I also have this crazy haul <laughs> to share with you. The pile, I'm not kidding, reaches right up here. Like it's just stacked of goodies. Um, this is a accumulated over probably the last three or four sourcing trips that I've made over the last two weeks. Um, it has been fun sourcing. I've been going to different places. I've been experimenting with different brands and I'm having a lot of fun doing it. I've also found some new to me brands or brands that I knew about that I've never found before. So, um, we're just going to jump right in, but before we get to the haul, can I see these pretty pieces here? This beautiful set right here. I always have wanted, um, like a layering piece type necklace and I just never found one that I really enjoyed. They usually looked awkward on me or like, you couldn't even tell there were separate pieces. They, the two necklaces almost joined together. So it didn't really show that whole separation look. Well, the lovely people from Ana Luisa um, reached out to me and wanted to know if I wanted to try a few of their pieces. Obviously, I said yes, because if you know anything about me, I love jewelry, I love shoes, and I love handbags. Those are the things that make me really happy in life. So I was thrilled to try out a few of their pieces, and today I wanted to show you these pieces in particular. Um, these, I believe, are called the Cardi Set. Um, they're on sale on the website right now for $103. The really cool thing with Ana Luisa is that sustainable, which we love, clearly, because this channel is about being sustainable. It's about being fashion forward, but also being conscious while doing it. Um, the really cool thing about this jewelry besides the fact that it is sustainable and the pieces are really cute, is that they come in this really pretty velvet pouch, which it's the little things when it comes to that. I love that it comes with a little velvet pouch because I um, don't really have a great system for my jewelry yet and I'm working on it, but I do like to store things in velvet pouches like this, especially um, jewelry that I wear often. I like to have it really handy, like if you're traveling or anything, I just think the velvet pouch is really cool. So yeah, that's this piece right here. Let me get in a little closer for you guys. So you can see, this is like a half moon crescent shape with a pretty little beaded detail on the chain itself. And then this is like a little star. It's so cute. I love it. Anyway, if you guys are interested in Annalisa or looking at any of their pieces, there will be a link down below with a coupon code for you guys. Uh, and yeah, let's let's jump into the haul, shall we? That's why you're really here. I just had to give a little shout out to Anna Luisa before we got started. Um, I don't even know where to start because there's so much stuff. So I guess I just start at the top and make my way down to the bottom. Um, the first thing that I want to show you guys is a pair of boots, new to me brand, never heard of them before. Um, they're called Baffin or Buff Baffin, Baffin, not sure. Can you see that? B-A-F-F-I-N. Um, they immediately caught my eye given the uh, embroidered type look to it, the little pattern, the faux fur on top. It's got a little bit of a wedge heel. Um, they were priced up at $15.99, but when I looked up comps and I looked up what these things retail for, they actually retail for quite a bit of money and they resell for quite a bit. So retail on similar pairs, I couldn't find this exact one, were like in the two to three hundred dollar range and the resale was between a hundred and hundred and fifty. So I was excited to pick up boots. This is I don't know if you consider it I mean it is a snow boot because it has the fur, but you could absolutely wear these in the rain as well. This is like a rubber. It's not leather. Um this is a rubber material and it's definitely a rubber bottom too. I'm gonna guess that these were hardly worn <laughs> given the way the sole looks. Um, they're a size 10. They label these as men's, but I don't think this is men's. I'm pretty sure this is women's, so Saber is messed up there. But I'm excited to try this new brand, and I love um, experimenting with different brands that I find in the thrift store. So really excited to try these out, and I'll report back once they sell to let you know how it went. Um, next piece here is uh, an... It's not necessarily a new to me brand. I've heard of this brand before. I've just never found it. And it's Stubbs and Wooten, Wooten, I'm assuming is how you say that. And this is the Palm Beach 
shoe. The shoe does need to be cleaned a little bit. It is a little dirty, which is not a big deal. I can do that, but it's just a cute little kitten heel, pointed toe, mule style, size eight, made in Italy. Uh, so yeah, that was my first time finding it. I thought the pattern was cute. It's got a little monkey, a little monkey with the, a branch and a little, like a palm tree kind of thing. But that was my first time finding it. I mean, not the most exciting shoe, I guess, but I was excited to find the brand. That's what I was really excited about. Uh, next up, this is, and I've talked about this before, um, a Target collaboration piece. I've mentioned in a What Sold video that I actually have really good luck with certain Target collaboration pieces. I definitely don't pass them up. Um, I do my research and I kind of go from there. So this is the Rixo Target collaboration. It was new at Tag, which is really the reason why I picked it up. And this is really pretty smocked sleeve floral print. It's a little ruffle here on the bottom. Really pretty, size eight. It's got zipper in the back there. So I'm excited to try this one out. I know this was a big um, release that happened in the spring, summertime. The, this collaboration um, from Target sold out really quickly. So I'm hoping that I can do really well with this. I think I can. Um, the comps looked really good on it, which is crazy because comps can range from like $30, $40, not new with tag, um, all the way up to like 150 new with tag. So I'm probably going to price somewhere in the middle, probably going to price it like a $65, $75 range and, and go, from, go from there, see what happens. Probably accept an offer on it is what's going to happen. Okay, I was so excited for this piece, and it's not anything special. It's just J. Crew. It was new at Tag. It retailed for $110, but I just loved the print on this dress. It's a little mini floral print. Again, a smock sleeve. Oh, clearly, I'm on a smock sneak sleeve. Smocked sleeve kick. Um, it's just a midi dress. I just loved the pattern of it. I loved the shape of it. I really liked the neckline. I thought the neckline was so pretty. Um, it gives me like that boho but modern type of a vibe. And I love it. And it's little rosebuds. Like, look, look how pretty that is. Little tiny rosebuds. I love anything floral. If you know me personally, you know that I wear a lot of floral pieces all the time. I love floral. Minus the days like today where I'm wearing all black. Literally all black from head to toe minus my hat my sports bra. Also, go Sox. If you're a Red Sox fan, you know it's a really important time right now. <laughs> Do you see this right here? This is Kenzo. I have never found Kenzo um, clothing pieces before. I found a pair of Kenzo shoes that have been sitting forever that I think I'm going to send off um, either to the real real or to thread up. I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do with them yet. But they've, I've, they've sat for two years, but I've never found Kenzo clothes, specifically this amazing embroidered, look at this thing, tiger embroidered sweatshirt. Look at that. So cool. I was so excited to find this. This was just hanging out in the athletic wear section. No one was paying attention to it. As soon as I saw this, before I even saw Kenzo, I just saw the pattern. I knew it was Kenzo. Kenzo has a very specific um, look to it with their sweatshirts and the way they embroider things. It's missing the interior tag. It's got a little bit, I've got to do a little work on it. It's a little bit of like pilling and stuff here. Um, it doesn't have the interior tag, but it's definitely 100% cotton. You can just tell by the feel of it. So excited, have done zero research, no idea what they retail or resell for. I was excited because it's Kenzo. There's my logic behind that. All right, moving on to another brand that I was really excited to find. And this, this brand can be hit or miss, but given the um, item and the style, and it was new at Tags, I went for it. So this is, let me see if I can bring this one back. Uh, Raga is the name of the brand, can be sold at Anthropology, is sold on its own, can be sold on various boutiques. Um, like I said, new at Tag, this is called the Harley Faux Leather Pant. Um, I got three of these. They have three of them in the store. They're pretty neat. They go with the season. They've got a pocket in the front, pocket in the back, elastic waist. And cool thing about the pant hem here is you can roll the pants up and have a really neat plaid design on the bottom if you wanted to rock it that way. 
so yeah, I got three of these. They were $8.49 each. Um, and I think I could probably sell them for 50. 50, 55. It's a perfect time of year. New tag. Very excited about that. I have two in a small and one in extra small. They didn't have any other sizes, otherwise I would have grabbed other sizes as well. Here is another fan favorite here, friends. Fan favorite. Everlane, size 10. These are an elastic weight, uh, waist pant. They're just a trouser. I'd say these are slightly wide leg. Um, with some back pockets here. I believe they're cotton. Let's check it out. Yep, it's cotton. We always like Everlane. I don't know what these are called. I'm sure they have a name. Everything in Everlane has a name of some sort, but I don't know what, they're called, what they are called. Then we also found another pair of Everlane. These are in a size six. These are, mm, they also have a name. They're the work pant that has the side zipper, um, straight leg. They're in a navy. Okay. I don't think they're navy. I think they're black. They might be a little faded. I can't tell. No, maybe they're navy. Yeah, they're navy. Navy pant. Just a basic trouser pant, but Everlane work pants generally do really well for me. Um, guessing for both of those pants between 40, 45, depending on what they um, sold for, but that is just my guess. Fun story on these leggings. So I'm going through the leggings at the store and I notice that there's a pair of leggings that feel like Lululemon, but I can't tell that they're Lululemon because they were inside out. So they put them on the shelf, on the rack, inside out. The reason why I figured it was Lululemon after I touched it was, see the rip tag? It's gone. And this is a good indicator that it's Lulu. Not always. There are other brands out there that also have a rip tag like this. So I unraveled these pants. They were only $7.99 because they missed them at Savers. Lo and behold, it is Lululemon. Um, I was very excited and even more excited that they didn't realize it was Lulu and Inside Out, Inside Out and only charged $7.99. So thank you, employee at Savers, who missed that. You made my day. You made my day. Oh, we have two more pairs of Lululemon. Um, I think there's a third pair too, but I already photographed it and listed it. So I didn't grab it for you. I'm sorry. These are just a... Capri, knee length style. It has little mesh paneling. I feel like I've sold these before. It's got the mesh paneling that goes all the way up to the knee. Um, I think I've sold these before. I don't know the name of it though, but they have the new, the newer size dot with the style number. So I'll be able to look it up and figure out what style it is. But I also want you to realize that these were priced at $14.99 because I knew it was Lululemon. Now I had 20% off, so I tend to pick it. I, I typically pick up Lululemon leggings, even if they're priced at $15, $14, $15, because I generally have 20% off and um, I can sell them. For the, the ones that I'm picking up, I generally can sell for $50 to $75, depending on the style. So I was okay with paying up for that. Um, here's another pair of Lululemon leggings. Again, the tag on here was $14.49. These have this really cool, it's kind of like a tie-dye, but it's not a tie-dye. I don't know what you call this, but it's a really neat pattern. It looks like clouds almost. Little purple clouds. Um, I had a blue pair just like this as well. Those are listed. Same style, just blue. Um, let me say this right now. My average cost of goods after... Everything is said and done after my time, my gas, all of that fun stuff. Um, my average cost of goods is $8 on everything that I got. Um, I will note that I did go to a consignment store as well, which is why it was an $8 cost of goods, but that's okay. I am a-okay with that because the stuff I got there was amazing. Um, I think that's it for Savers stuff. Yeah, I think that's all. That's all I got at Savers. Um, oh no, just kidding. I, there's more stuff for Savers. It's at the bottom of the bag. So this next batch I'm going to show you is consignment store and then we'll go back to Savers stuff. Um, I was super excited to find this. I mentioned this in my last haul. 
um, this brand, Luis Ferrod. So there's the label, but this is a wool coat. Look at this, it is so pretty. It is in really good condition, I left a little toggle there. So, so pretty, it has a hood. Um, let's just check, it feels like wool, but it might not be wool. Let me, let me see, oh, I am so wrong. Um, well, not so wrong. It's 50% Angora and 50% wool. So this this bad boy is really nice. I have done zero research. I have no idea what this would even um, retail for and likewise resell for. I might sell this myself. I got to do a little work. I got to I gotta see um, what I could get for this. Um, the railroad might be the best place for me to send this, but it might be okay for me to sell it myself given the time of year we're going into. Gotta do a little research. Kind of excited. We'll see. But this was only $8 because they had no idea what it was. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> totally okay with that. Um, moving on, this was another really great find that I wanted to run out the door the second I saw it. But when I saw it, I knew there had to be more good stuff in the consignment store. So check it out, friends. It is a Barefoot Dreams, new with tag, okay? New with tag, Barefoot Dreams from Nordstrom. It's a size extra small, small. <sighs> This made me so happy. I have this exact cardigan, but in like a maroon color. Um, it was priced at $10. So we're just gonna keep going because the haul gets better and better, in my opinion. <laughs> but I was so excited. As soon as I found that, I was like, oh, there's some gems in here. There's no way there's a new at tag Barefoot Dreams and there aren't other things in here that a new at tag are really great. And they were. Next is Lovers and Friends. I don't always pick up this brand. I haven't had the best luck with it, but this was a really cool um, distressed, I guess. Ripped up hem, ripped up everything. Uh, cropped sweater. Thought it was really pretty. I liked the deep V. I feel like when you have a crop sweater, the deep V is necessary to wear a really pretty bralette with. So that was exciting. Um, okay, you're gonna probably question my my choice in purchasing this, but hear me out. This is Anthropology. It's their brand. It's a size extra large, and it's a um, half zip here camo sweater. You see that camo sweater, and it is new at tag. So here's my logic. I typically don't pick up Anthropology. I really can't say that. I typically don't pick up Maeve. I don't pick up Moth. I don't pick up Sleeping on Snow. Like, I don't pick up those brands. Um, I will pick up buy Anthropology pieces if they're new with tag or it's something that's trending right now. So, for example, a few months ago, I found two uh, buy Anthropology, one buy Anthropology, one Pilker on the little letterpress um, overalls. And one was new at Tag, one wasn't. And I knew overalls were going to be a thing that people were going to be looking for. And they sold for full asking price of $140 each. So after that happened, I realized that I need to give Anthropology another shot and just, just be mindful of things I'm picking up. So I like the style. We're heading into sweater season. It's camo. A lot of people really love camo print. It's new at Tag. It's an extra large. It was only $10. It was kind of like a no-brainer to me because even if, like I said, my average cost of goods was so low, I mean, I, anything that I sell, I don't care if I sell it for $35, it was worth it. It's going to bring people to my closet. People are always searching for anthropology. Even though in the reseller world, we kind of down anthropology free people because it's so saturated there are just some things certain pieces that people are always going to be on the lookout for um, and wanting to add to their closet so i try to keep that in mind when i'm sourcing do i generally like to pick up pieces that are going to make me a certain profit um yeah of course but i also like to mix in some of these more mid-tier um or brands that more people know about that might be searching for in particular, um, because I just, 
I want to cater to everyone, but still make my bottom line, which I feel like is what every reseller's goal really is. Um, okay, thanks for coming to my TED Talk, but we're going to move on to this brand I had never heard of, and maybe this is just me being naive, but it's called Gentle Herd, and the only reason why I even bothered to pick it up was it felt amazing. As soon as I touched it, I was like, oh, are you cashmere? I think you're cashmere because I'm, I base everything off of touch. I'm one of those people that like when I, when I go to the bins, I haven't been since January, 2019. <laughs> but when I go to the bins, um, I base everything off of touch. So I touch, I throw in a cart and I look at, all later, look at it all later. That's kind of what I do when I'm in the thrift store. I don't like to wear gloves or anything like that. So this is... 100% cashmere. Just want to double check. It was new at Tags, only $10. Um, it's got a little hood. So it's almost like a little sweatshirt here. A little basic knit sweatshirt. Um, these things retail for quite a bit, uh, between $150 to $250. And the resale's not too bad on it. I don't know on that specific piece, but uh, I'm excited to try a new brand. Have you guys ever found Gentle Herd? Do you know about it? Is this just me being silly and not realizing that it's a really good brand that I should be on the lookout for? Because now I know, but I didn't before. But let me know. Did you already know about that brand? It's definitely new to me. Okay, this is, of course, my favorite brand to sell, and that would be Madewell. It was new at Tags. This retailed for $98. I don't think you can see that. There you go, $98. It's just a floral kimono style. It's short, though. It's not really a kimono, but it's that's the vibe that I'm getting from it. It's just a something that I would wear over like this black top basically. It's a size extra large. So that was a yes from me. We love picking up all sizes and being inclusive. So, and especially if I can find Madewell or Everlane or any brand that um, I tend to sell really well, if I can find it in extra large, extra, extra large, size 16 to 24, like they sell really fast for me and they typically sell for full asking price because um, those are pieces that are hard to find sometimes in the resale world or in the thrift store. So I really try to keep that in mind. And let's hope I don't put that on and put it in my closet. Probably won't though. We have another Everlane piece here. This is the, this is a cotton. Oh, I have another one of these that I, I don't know, maybe I showed you in the last haul. I don't remember, but this is the same style of sweater. It's got a crew neck here. It's just a cotton ribbed knit, not ribbed. It's ribbed down here. Sweater. How much do they want for this? $8 because they don't know what Everlane is. Just fine with me. Got that. This is all stuff I need to like. As soon as I'm done filming this, I need to photograph and list it. But it's also my anniversary weekend, and I told my husband I wouldn't really do too much work, so I'm filming a video, and then we'll see. Maybe I'll photograph like 10 things so I feel good, and then go from there. Okay, another exciting brand for me, and that is right here, Seek the Label. It was new at Tags. It retailed for $148, and it's this burgundy cropped chenille sweater. What a pretty color. I love this color. So pretty. So that was exciting. This is my second time finding Seek the Label. I never found it before up until a couple months ago and now I just found it again and it's new with tags. Um, okay, we are done with the consignment store and we're moving on to Salvation Army. I have two Salvation Army pieces and then the rest are Sager's pieces from another trip. Um, this first piece right here is... A first for me, I had never found it before, but it is Black Halo. I had never found it before. I know that people always mentioned it and it does well. And it's this bodycon style dress. So maybe not the best style, but there are people out there that still rock these kind of dresses, right? I liked the color. I liked the jean look of the material, kind of like a distressed look. It's got a little stretch on the side to make it kind of bodycon, and that was new a tag. So we're going to try it. We're going to see what happens. 
Um, this next piece, I have no idea how I'm going to show you this because it's, I need to figure out how it even ties together. I don't know. I don't know how it goes. But it's Diane von Furstenberg, so let me show you the label first before I attempt to, first I gotta remove the staple. Salvation Army and your staples. Can you not do that anymore, especially on silk pieces? That'd be great. Please don't do it. It ruins the pieces. Diane von Furstenberg, it's a size eight. And it's like a like a Marilyn Monroe style dress, I guess. That's like the only way I can really describe it. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to show you this. Like it is hold on. Hold please. <laughs> struggling. Totally struggling. So this is the the front. And then it's got this tie right here that's silk that wraps around the waist. And it's this um like light chiffon material on the bottom very very Marilyn Monroe how flowy it is um yeah that's Diane on Furstenberg I am definitely going to sell this myself once I figure out how to put it together because I have no idea and I will sell the black halo myself I generally send all my Diane von, Diane von Furstenberg to the real real I'm trying to see if there's like a style name or something on here there usually is in the interior tag um, I usually sell it myself because, <laughs> what did I just say? I meant to say I usually send it into the real real, but certain pieces I will sell myself. Sorry guys. Um, this is called the Lorelei, the Lorelei dress. So I'll have to look it up and see what it goes for. And a stock photo will probably helpful with that piece. So it's going to be difficult to photograph. I can already tell the way it looks. So those were my only two Salvation Army pieces and I will say that the Salvation Army I went to has increased their pricing and I'm not a fan. Like these pieces were 50% off so that was fine. $14.99 for DVF so clearly they have someone pricing that knows brands now and then the Black Halo was $19.99 and it says new. This is crazy pricing to me for Salvation Army. Crazy pricing. And this was like my hidden gem Salvation Army that um, I drive to every so often. That usually the pricing was like $8 and below plus 50% off. No one went to. Clearly people have started going to it. It's nowhere near me. So, I mean, it is what it is. I just get a little angry about it because, come on, Salvation Army. Come on. All right, moving on. Clothes that you want to see that I bought. These are Lululemon. Um, where are you, Lululemon? I, I don't know. It, it's somewhere on here. But they have this stirrup here. Um, I don't know what these are called. These are like in their dance collection, I believe, or their yoga collection. I don't know. I don't know Lululemon that well, guys. I mean, just being honest, I just like to sell it. But here's the little black Lululemon. So there's that. Um, then we also found this Lululemon tank in a size 8. It's a little see-through tank here. New it tags. So we like that. A little new it tag Lululemon action. Um, okay, I want to show you these next three pieces, and it's a brand that I want to try out. I don't know how it's going to do. I don't know if it's really worth my time. I really like the pieces. This is my daily struggle of being a reseller. This is nothing new. Maybe you guys have heard of this brand. I actually talked to a fellow reseller friend who told me it was probably worth trying because he had heard the brand before. So shout out to Steven. Hi, Steven. See Fashion Guru. It's my, it's my pal. I love, I love Steven. Um, and we were talking about different brands we had recently found in the thrift store. And I had mentioned this brand and showed him a picture of the dress. Not this one. Um, the next one I'm going to show you. And I told him that they were new with tags and, you know, they seem to retail for quite a bit and they seem to have a following, but I'm not really sure. And he reassured me that I should go back and, and probably check it out because it can do really well. And that brand is Shabby Chic. Have you guys ever heard of Shabby Chic? Let me know. Have you sold it? Um, it was sold on Mixology. This is called the Blith 
smocked maxi dress retailed for $168. Um, total boho vibes here. Look at this. This top is smocked. Beautiful floral print. We've got a nice little ruffle bottom, kind of very spell the gypsy vibes going on here. Um, even Christy Dawn, really. Kind of a Christy Dawn vibe. So I wanted to try that. Based off of style alone, I think it will do well. Uh, so we will we will see. Here's another shabby chic um, dress. This one doesn't have the tags on it, but it is new with tags. I really like the pattern of this one. So it's the same style as the one I just showed you, but it has a black and white polka dot um, theme to it. And the ruffle is a little more distinctive because it's black, so it's a contrasting color and it's polka dot. With the other one, you couldn't really tell because the ruffle was the same pattern as the dress itself. So I'm excited to try them. We'll see. And then I saw this as well, again, by Shabby Chic. This um, is called the Tulula Wide Smock Skirt, retailed for 88 on Mixology. They had a whole bunch of these, but I obviously I'm not gonna buy them all because I just wanna try the brand, I thought it was fun. And this is a really pretty um, skirt. We'll see foam green action going on. So, I mean, I don't know. I have no idea how this is gonna do. It might be a total flop. It might end up a thread up. Who knows? But I can at least say I tried it and um, maybe it'll be a pick up for another time or maybe I'll stay far, far away. One or the other. We have three pieces left. Next up is the this Kate Spade um, metallic mini backpack. Needs to be cleaned. It's a little... It's a little dirty. We're going to try to get that out. The interior, though, is in excellent condition. You can see that, but there, it's in really, really good condition. Um, I like a good Kate Spade bag or backpack. I feel like backpacks are very much in when it comes to the fall uh, months, especially if you're going out or something. You want to just wear something comfortable and easy to wear if you're going out. If you're here in New England, you're going out, walking around, looking at the leaves, going to different farms. It's kind of a thing to do here and I'm sure in many other places. Um, so I always like backpacks. Then we have this mini size Marc Jacobs brown leather bag. Typically not a big brown leather bag girl, but this one was cute. I like the buttery soft leather. I also like the way it opens. Let's see this? Just like the way that it opened. Um, it's got little card slots right here, so that's pretty neat. Nice little chevron pattern. Just a small little bag to wear when you're going out. It's in excellent condition. Chunky gold chain, very much in right now. So there's this. And then the last thing that I found is a pair of boots that I'm probably going to keep for myself. Um, unless they're super uncomfortable, then we're gonna we're gonna sell them. But look at these buttes right here. Rounded, kind of an almond toe. It's got this chain detail, the block heel, side zipper. These are just Michael Kors. Um, they're a size 10, but um, just by the shape of the shoe, a nine would never fit me, nor would a nine and a half. So um, it's definitely narrow, as you can tell from the bottom. I did pay up for these, I paid $20. Um, but if I keep them, Great investment for myself. If I end up selling them, honestly, they'll sell. They'll sell for at least 60, 65. They're like brand new. Someone probably wore them a few times and decided that it wasn't for them. So, um, and they don't think I'm weird, but they smell really nice. <laughs> they smell like beautiful leather, okay? Um, so that's that, that's, that's my haul, guys. Kind of went by faster than I thought, um, 34 minutes. Not bad, not bad. Hopefully you learned some new things, some new brands. Um, do you agree with the stuff I picked up? Do you think I did a good job? I think I did a pretty good job. I think I got some really good things that sell for me. And I know that sell for me and um, were worth the pickup. So yeah, that's it guys. Um, I'll be back next time. I'm probably gonna do my real world video at this point because my money's going to be depositing soon. I like to wait until the money deposits so I can give you a real actual breakdown of what it is that's sold. A lot of times things don't end up staying on my list for the month because they get returned before the 14 days, which sometimes falls right before the money gets deposited. So I never like to release those videos until I have accurate numbers. Um, 
yeah, that's it. Don't forget, go check out Anna Luisa. Look at this, look at this, so pretty. Go check them out. Link will be in my description down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.